What is up everybody? Today we are making one of Maine's most famous patterns or maybe the f most famous for a local. I don't know. I, I don't really know. This is called a golden retriever and pretty much everyone that lives in Maine has one in their box. And so I'm just going to show you how to tie it um, and how I like to tie mine. So this is tan marabou. Um, you can use like a root beer color if you want, but tan's pretty popular as well. So we'll just make a little sort of woolly bugger tail about the length of the body. And I'm gonna go, make sure we get that down in center. I'm gonna do three wraps over, securing wrap in, and then I'm going to wrap forward to the front. Boom. Then I'm gonna pull the body over, catch it, one securing out front. Trim the excess, as my, my boy Davy McPhail would say. Or McPhail, I guess, I'm not sure. Clean up the head a little bit, and then we'll work our way back. Trying to make a solid red body. If you don't get it all solid, it's okay. Just do your best. See, we did okay there. We'll cover it on our way back. So there's our tail. Nice little tail there. Now, for me, this is where everyone has a different style. And what I like to do is, this is called Estaz, E-S-T-A-Z. You'll see it. And this is a tan one on top and a yellow one on the bottom. I like to bring in two colors. A lot of people, again, will use root beer. But I like to bring in two colors. Tan and yellow. Why? I'm not really sure. That just seems to be the best for me. So then we'll wrap forward, covering up all those bare spots. It's gonna get covered up anyways, pretty much, so. And then I'll just do a few wraps here, just to make sure. Okay, we missed a little spot right there. Oh my goodness, did we ever. So before we wrap this, what I like to do is take a pair of hackle pliers, um, and I like to spin it. So basically I'll grip them both, like so, and then I will just spin them tight so they kind of mix, like so. See how that's kind of spun? It makes a nice little noodle, almost like a dubbing loop. So we'll go, you want these to be open wraps. And they can be as open as you want or as close as you want or Really whatever you like. I like to have them, you know, about an eye length apart. That's how I sort of measure things out, is an eye length. And then when I get to the head, I'll do kind of a complete wrap around. Make sure that we're on top of the head. Good. And then I'll try to catch it right on top. Oops, that was not good. Try to catch it right on top. Cinch it down out front. Trim the excess. And then what I'll do is I'll build up a little red hot spot. That little red hot spot, I mean, it's not even, it's really just a thread dam more than a hot spot, I would say, but whatever. Um, and then I'll whip finish. And like as simple and as silly as this seems, it works really well. Come in with a little bit of UV right on top just to secure that head in because this, you might be asking yourself, well, what do you use to catch this, you know, or what fish are you targeting? And uh, salmon, like salmon go crazy for this. So do brook trout. I don't know why. I really don't. A lot of people are like, oh, well, it imitates, you know, this type of insect or this type of whatever. And I'm like, well, I don't really know if it does, but it just works. So. That's the Golden Retriever. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.